It's a ramen day. <laughs> Rich, creamy, umami, chewy. Ramen is awesome. This dish appeals to people from all walks of life. <laughs> At first, a very unassuming, simple bowl of soup and noodles packs such a strong punch that nobody can withstand its awesome culinary power. Just like the almighty pizza and burger, ramen is pretty much guaranteed to have its place on the Mount Olympus of food. Every day, billions of ramen bowls are eaten all over the world. We see more and more chefs try their hand in creating unique and tasty versions of this delicious soup. I don't know about you, but I'm starving to find out more. So today I'm going to be visiting three drastically different ramen shops to answer one simple question. Is Japanese ramen any good outside of Japan? Buckle up, it's going to be a tasty episode. Mmm, where is my baby? Добрый день, меня зовут Роман Зачеринский, я сооснователь ресторана Кольм Сиблот. Меня зовут Сергей Головко, я шеф-повар ресторана Кольм Сиблот. Это самое популярное блюдо в нашем меню, то есть даже во время пандемии как раз вот эта лапша тейковей спасла нас от банкротства, и люди брали ее в больших количествах, и нам это очень помогло. Хочется, чтобы человек покушал, заплатил за это адекватную цену, сказал, что, блин, вкусная еда, классное обслуживание, я хочу вернуться обратно. Вот для нас, наверное, вот это является очень фундаментальной фразой, чтобы человек сказал «я хочу вернуться обратно». Сегодня будем пробовать наш самый популярный рамен лапшу вот, с конфи из утки. На конфиты из утки мы используем утиные ноги. Мы опять же ставим это все на ночь, в духовку. С утра мы разбираем его, добавляем сливовый соус, соль, перец по вкусу, куриный бульон, приправлен соевым соусом, сечуанским перцем, соевым уксусом. Бланшированный пакчой, маринованный красный лук, шимей грибы и яйцо в суиде. This smells so fragrant and so delicious. Oh gosh, let's dig in. <laughs> Look at them bad boys. So the noodles are super like tangy and chewy. They're very, very lovely and have this nice snap to them. Mmm, mmm, so good. Let's try some duck as well. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So the duck was really delicious and it's actually cooked in its own fat. So it has this very similar texture to pork. Uh, it's really nice and fatty, but because they add a little bit of that plum sauce, it's actually on a sweeter side, which is really, really delicious. So I didn't get just one ramen. I got two. The second ramen I'm trying is actually from with fermented tofu and some kimchi here and it just looks super, super colorful. Mm. Mm. It's quite spicy, which I really, really like. It has a lot of that umami kimchi flavor. And because udon noodles are so thick and big, they're nicely coated. <coughs> Sorry, chili flakes. Nice. Let's try some of that fermented tofu as well. Big chunks, very big chunks. Oh wow, it's like spicy, but it's also sweet. I would never even thought that this is tofu. It's actually really, really delicious and full of flavor. Oh man, it's literally like minus two degrees outside, super nice and cold. And we're here in warmth, eating this beautiful broth of goodness. And I'm literally like making a massive mess. I'm sorry, guys. We have two very different ramens here and we're gonna do a bit of an experiment here. Spoon. So this is the spicy tofu ramen. Ooh, yeah. Very spicy, but also very mild and quite fatty. Very delicious broth. Mm, let's try again. Yeah, but because you have kimchi, you have that fermentation included into it and it's just delicious. Confit duck ramen. Mmm, much, much milder, but because it is a confit duck, it's on a fattier side. Oh, I don't know, my favorite is this one. I love the spiciness here, but this is so umami, so hearty. <laughs> Bye. Bye. 
The second place that we're going to be going today is Tokumaro. It's a very proper Japanese place run by the proper Japanese chef and that makes me super excited. I used to be around chefs in the kitchen all the time and today I have this amazing opportunity. Just can't wait to get in and learn more about Tokumaro. Proper Japanese vibes. I'm Daigo and I came from Japan and I'm living in Estonia for 13 years now and uh, we are making uh, Japanese ramen in here Estonia. Tokumaru means the circle of uh, good things. We import soy sauces and miso paste directly from Japan and uh, we use the same recipe as my father's restaurant in Hokkaido. He's uh, my inspiration and uh, thanks to him, uh, now we can enjoy the ramen in Estonia as well. People come to Hokkaido to enjoy the, the miso ramen there, but uh, make it a little bit spicy is maybe uh, like a unique uh, in Tokumaru. Has your dad been here and tried your ramen here? Yeah. It's the most uh, terrifying moment. And what sort of comments would he usually give to your ramen? Sometimes he said, whoa, it's tastier than in Japan. <laughs> That's a big compliment, actually. <laughs> So I just got myself a glass of water because Jay just came from the kitchen. He said the spicy miso soup is going to be quite spicy, so be prepared. So I'm being prepared. So Daigo said that I can't leave Tokumaro without really trying the spicy miso soup. And from the look of it, it looks really red, quite spicy. The smell is pretty fragrant. Let's try the broth first. It's very creamy, very red. <sighs> Let's get ready. Ooh, this broth has like layers of spiciness. It doesn't hit you straight away. It kind of like opens up as you eat it. It's very balanced. I really love it. Let's try a little bit more. Mm. How good is this? Slow cooked pork, classic topping. Let's try that. Mm. Mm. It's a private moment. So good. It's really tender. Loads of flavors. They do marinate it twice and they cook it slowly for like four to five hours. And honestly, the love and care that goes into this pork really shows here. Okay, look at this. Mm. Covered in chili sauce with the spicy miso ramen broth. Come to mama. I was sweating. <laughs> this is proper spicy ramen. Like I can honestly imagine being in Hokkaido mountains in winter, in around snow, being all cold and tired, and then coming to the ramen shop and eating this beautiful bowl of amazingness. You guys nailed it. So we've got vegan shoyu ramen here in front of me straight away. There's a lot of green color. Let's try that broth. Despite being vegan, it's really, really creamy and quite like unfiltered, has a lot of like things happening here. Let's try. Ooh. Ooh. This is so good. Wow. Has a lot of flavor, a lot of mushroom there. You can feel that fermentation happening there, uh, but also slightly on the saltier side. Noodle bowl. Mm. Good things happen in this plate. Tokomara has been one of my favorite places for the longest time ever. I feel like I'm at home, I feel like I'm in London again. The food is really good quality. It's quite authentic to Japanese standards. And since Tokomara people have been so kind to us and gave us two ramens to try, broth taste number one. Spicy miso soup. So much creaminess, so much yumminess. They, it's jam-packed with flavor, so delicious. And uh, you feel like you want to give somebody a nice gift, order this ramen for them. 
it's just gonna sort all the problems. Trust me, it's that good. But saying that, this vegan ramen, again, is full of flavor and that broth, it's very easy going, it's not too strong on a palate and I can totally see myself finishing this full bowl and going for another one. Well done, absolutely well done. Mm. I'm on like ramen heaven right now. I don't want this moment to end. For our very final place, for the third place, I have chosen Kanuti Ramen Shop. It's a very small 12-seater ramen place here in Tallinn, which is not quite a typical size of the restaurant here. I was back in Japan eight years ago and visiting those small ramen shops with a few seats and one chef cooking ramen throughout the whole day was one of my favorite things to do ever. And I already have all those amazing, like, warm feelings about this place, and I felt like it will be an appropriate end for our ramen tasting day today. So, yeah. Exciting stuff. That's the dinner bell. Здравствуйте, меня зовут Тарас, мы находимся в Таллине, мы находимся в Кануте Рамен Бар. Это наш бар, где основное наше блюдо является раменом. Вот я выходец из Украины, so тебе. Меня зовут Зак, я тоже приехал с Украины сюда. Мы стараемся придерживаться японских традиций, работаем только fresh food и делаем все своими руками. К японской кухне я вернулся благодаря Заку. Мне интересно рамен как блюдо, потому что он очень многогранное. Мы используем традиционные японские ингредиенты. Мы вместе стараемся покупать соевый соус, мисопаста. Она исключительно из Японии, потому что разительное отличие по вкусу. У нас есть базовый рамен, в который входит лапша, бульон. И есть такой ингредиент, который наз... японцы называют таре. Таре, по сути, это это как соус, да, который заправляет бульон. Мы покупаем два вида японской мясопасты. Сливочное масло, небольшой кубик я ложу. Должна поверхность рамена в целом покрываться маслом, чтобы лапша сохраняла вот температуру, и рамен сохранял температуру. Маринованное яйцо, да, мы варим half-boiled egg. Мы делаем собственный маринад. Его основа это койкучи, это классический японский соевый соус. Вот эта вот идея открыть рамен, что это уникальное блюдо, а, пришло здесь. Я когда увидел эту жемчужину, Таллин, именно погода совпадает. Рамен это теплое блюдо, горячее. Как раз вот для северных стран оно подходит очень хорошо. Раменами я занимаюсь в Таллине два года. Я могу сказать, что здесь я выражаю себя. Smells so bloody amazing, and the presentation is literally 10 out of 10. So I have in front of me a miso ramen with a bit of spicy touch from the head chef and some tenderloin beef. Also, I want to mention that this soy marinated eggs are some of the best we've seen today. Really compliments to the chef here. Mm. Woo! It's spicy. So much flavor. You can see that chef here respect the classics and everything from noodles to the presentation has been top notch. Let's try that beautiful beef. Come by. Mm. What is this magic? I don't know. The beef is really tender. It's proper nice and pink. It's super juicy and it just melts on your tongue. This is my happy space. I'm gonna stay right here for as long as I can. I really love it. Mm. Mm. Proper nice and creamy. <laughs> Has it actually spicy this? <laughs> I'm having some ramen slats already. So the spicy level here in this ramen, if in comparison to Tokumaru we were like ground level, here we literally are approaching a summit of Mount Fuji. But it's so addictive, can't stop. Man. 
this is good. This is really good. The interesting fact about the noodles here, they're made handmade every morning here. And what is so special about them is that they leave them to rest for 48 hours. So they get a little bit more moisture. And you can feel that when you eat them because they're quite chewy, but still have that very nice bite to noodles that we all so love. Well done. Today I had so much ramen that one would think that I would be like up to my gills. But honestly, this ramen here, it's literally next level it's so damn good and who would have thought that something so great can be found on the streets of Tallinn I'm just in a happy space right now and I just want to sit here and savor this moment yeah I do feel like a flaming dragon though <laughs> Yesterday was my 100% maximum as me and Jay literally demolished five big large bowls of ramen. And before sitting down and recording this outro, we actually had a very lengthy conversation about each place. And to be really, really honest, each of these places brings something unique to the table. Quorum Sibolet feels like this pro top tier restaurant, great service, staff is super knowledgeable and the food is off the wall. And it's one of those places that I really want to keep coming back to. So guys, well done. Tokumaru is this small Japanese authentic restaurant here in Tallinn. And I've literally felt sitting down there, felt like I teleported back to Japan. All this knowledge, skill, authenticity, I just loved it. And I honestly cannot believe that I can taste something so unique unique and so delicious here in Tallinn. Zak and Teras completely stole my heart. Kanuti Ramen Bar is this small, charming place and these guys are an absolute characters. I honestly felt like I'm sitting in Anthony's Bourdain Kitchen Confidentials chapter. They bring so much love and respect and skills to their cooking and it's awesome to witness that. And their spicy miso ramen soup is my recommendation. I was absolutely floored by the standards we got to witness here in Tallinn and how well the small little European city is doing when it comes to ramen scene. Each place brings heat, they're 100% passionate about what they're doing and it was so awesome to witness that and it literally put a massive smile on my face. I've linked all of these three places down in the description box below. Every single one of these places deserves your visit, go and check them out and if you do, say hi to them from me because I love them so much. I'm Classic Polly and I'm gonna go and take a food nap now.